okay and next one uh, what what is the chit chat okay so now last one solids you know solids having a kind of fluidity that is coming to the examples of what solids
example, if you fix the shape or fix the volume, no, it is not having anything like that. It can compress. Say for example, compress natural gas. Okay, your liquid pipe they are all taking the gases and they are compressing in the respective containers. And third one, the gases will be having low densities because mass will increase, volume also will be getting. Okay, so at that time what happens? Density will be getting. So that's why gases will be having much denser compared to solids. And finally, they are very very light. You can feel it, but you can't feel the amount of how heavy it is. Correct? Yes. And the gases can flow easily. Of course, it can go from this room to another room, from this place to another place. It can easily. My question: Can you measure the gas? No. Exactly. Okay. I'm taking a deodorant bottle. Initially, just uh, add yeah. the one complete deodorant mm -hmm. you just use. After that, just weigh it. So subtract the terms. That is the mass of the gas. Okay. So at that point, as I said, when compressed, you can measure it. But as the if it is present in the free state, you can't measure it. Clear? Yes. Now these are all the examples. And coming to this table. Take a look at this table. If everything we have compared to, so everything I have written is this form. Okay, so here you can see the shape. Solids will be having a definite shape, and liquid will take the shape of the container. In case of gases, what happens in the gas? If it is compressed, now then. Little back. Is it? You can't see from next class. It will be just dissolved. I think so. Okay. Yes. So here you, you can see this gas when it is compressed, it will take the shape of the container, or you can't say there is any fixed shape will be there. And volume, it will be having definite volume. In case of liquid, it will be moderate and takes the volume of the container. And in case of gas, again it will. Can't say the volume. And third one, compressibility can't compress solid. But here, this is also this is quite moderate. Gases are highly compressible. Fluidity, water will be water and gas. Gases will be having higher fluidity. Okay, rigidity, hardness will be there for the solid. Rigidity means it can't be flexible. Okay, flexible. So in gases, what happens? It is quite in terms of rigidity. And now density. Density will be more for Solids. Very good. And diffusion will be more for gases. Yes. Very good. And finally, free surface. What is free surface? See, I have written three statements. Can you see the three statements? Free surface. Any number of free surface. Only one free surface. No free surface. Okay. So first, for free surface of solid. Any number of surfaces. What is the thing? Size of the solid. Is it size of the solid? Any one? Then amount of space. Ha. Close. Little bit close. Okay. So okay. Why it is only one thing? Part of the surface. Certainly, okay. three dimensions. How is one piece of it? Ah. Okay. It fills the container and you are, you are almost reaching the answer, but not exactly. Okay. More size. Side. Ah, okay, side.
Okay, so let me explain this thing. Any number of free surface means we can see the just let me see about intermolecular force of attraction. So that's what happens. The intermolecular force of attraction is less, but more number of free space is there. Okay, so there is the particle is slightly back. Taking, is there any? Now we can catch. Now we can catch the point. Huh? Gas is a free space. For gas, it is present in the free space. It is uh, as much it is present in the free surface. Okay. So at that time, you can't say any kind of free surface is there. In liquid, it takes the top surface. If I'm taking, just take a bottle, water bottle, fill it to half. So what mm -hmm. happens? The top layer is not free surface. Yes, this one it doesn't say it about the Surface is strong layer that you said your size almost top layer. At top layer, in this top layer, the particles will be like this. There will be small amount of free surface will be there. Any number of free surface. If I'm taking a water bottle, the top layer is the free surface. Gas is as such with the free surface. Clear with this one? What are them? Ah, GPR. Hmm. Ah, okay. Fine. So this is a completion of the first set of PPT. Now we are moving to the second set. It's an easy one. Three steps of water. And. Ah. Okay. Ice, water vapor, and water. Now moving to the next one. I'll save food the time. Yes. Now, change you already said the changes will be depends upon the two important factors that is temperature and pressure. Okay, if we can say it in higher terms, it will be saying two important factors that is intermolecular force and kinetic. Even when you are comparing these two factors, you are comparing these two factors. one you know about all these kinds of term conversions okay solid to liquid is melting very good now huh? evaporation when solid is converting into liquid the heat will be absorbed or released. It will absorb. It will absorb to break the bond. 
okay to break the force to weak the intermolecular force of attraction it will so the heat so this process is known as i'm saying solid to liquid solid to liquid is known as melting so can you say any examples next one is effect of temperature change okay so in this effect of temperature change it's nothing but when increasing the temperature the solid will be converted and again when increasing the temperature it will be converting into solid similar thing again and again you are just finding the solid by increasing the temperature it will be converted into solid okay solid to liquid by heating liquid to gas by heating Gas to liquid by cooling, liquid to solid by cooling. Okay, fine. Okay. So now, can we solve some questions? Everyone is feeling a little bit. Right? No. Ah. Okay. Yes. 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 Yes
this bond will be getting why it will be increasing you will see this changing how much changing Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, fine. So evaporation is nothing but a cooling process. So evaporation is the converse of physical state from which physical state to the physical state? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And now Ice floats on the surface of water. Both water and ice. Do you know the structure of ice? Ice is a very structure. So in ice, what is the external state? Okay, but what happens? The arrangement is quite different. It will be a cage-like structure. So because of the cage-like structure, the density is quite less. So that's why what happens? It is just flowing on the water. Okay, it is just flowing on the water. Yeah, it is lighter. Oh. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, exactly. Yes. Next one. Which of the following statement is not correct? Ah. Ah. Matter is continuous in nature. Inter inter particle spaces are maximum in the gaseous states of substance. Particles which constitute the matter. Which one of the Ah, exactly. You said matter is continuous in nature. Huh? Yeah. Matter. It's a cycle. Correct. It is continuous in nature. This whole human world is matter. Correct. It is a continuous and a pro constant process. Okay, you can't break. Correct. You can't make matter. You can't make Now you are saying option C. So what is the correct thing? Particle which constitute the matter follows a zigzag path. So it is you are saying that is wrong. Okay. Then you can do your path. Then you can do your path. Okay. So coming to the seventh question, evaporation of liquid can take space at right? how it's below its boiling point. It's a cooling process. Yes. And one more thing is, see, evaporation is nothing but the conversion of liquid into gas. It absorbs the heat, but what happens there? The boiling point will be less than the boiling point. Okay. So at that point, it is. Answer is below its boiling point. Now, a liquid is in a kept in a china dish. The evaporation of a liquid can be accelerated by keeping the dish in the open, blowing air into the liquid, keeping the dish under a running pan, all of this. So, in all these options, what is the thing is happening? Some kind of external factor is just provoking it. Correct. Keeping the dish in the open means the air. Air will come, it will react. It. Second one, blowing air. So, air is also another external pan. Running pan. Again, the running pan provides the air. Very good. Now, coming to the ninth one. Which one of the following statement is wrong for gases? Gases do not have definite shape and volume. Is it right? True. Okay, because when it is compressed, it can take the shape of the container. But as such, when it is present in free state, it don't stay, take any definite shape and volume. And next one, volume of the gas is equal to the volume of the volume of the container confining the gas. Ah, volume of the gas is equal to the volume of the container confining the gas. False. Okay, we can go through all the four options. Then it will be better. Name. Confined gas exerts uniform pressure on the walls of the container in all directions. Okay, so there is a deodorant bottle. So in this, there will be more amount of gas molecules will be there. Okay, so gas molecules will be freely moving from one place to another. When it is in the Mass of the gas cannot be determined by weighing a container in which it is enclosed. So your answer is? Okay. The quantity of matter present in an object is called its mass. Why is not the mass?
Now, coming to the next one. Which of the following describes, okay, coming to the 10th question, the quantity of matter present in object is called its mass. Why it's called its mass? Mass is a uh, uh, Okay, that is a kilogram. In that in that terms, you can take your weight. Okay, and gram density, everything is different. Matter is always taken in mass. Okay, yes. So which because mass can be neither created nor destroyed according to the law of conservation of mass. Create. Okay, yes. Which of the following describes the liquid phase? What about option A? It has a definite shape and definite volume. Okay. So, uh, it has a definite shape, but not definite volume. Okay. Now, it has a definite volume, but not definite shape. True. Correct. So, for liquid, it has a definite volume. It takes the shape of the container. Correct. So, not definite shape. It has neither definite shape nor definite volume. So, your option is? So, what is your option? C. Very good. Yes. Which of the following states has a least energetic molecule? What is least energetic molecule? Exactly, the randomness, the free movement. Okay, that is what the energetic thing. Which of the following represents the densest state of matter? Solids is having high density because of the intermolecular force of attraction. Gases will be having low density. Okay, so now we can conclude the class here. Can you make an assignment now?
I'm 
next class i'll complete this topic and i'll bring more difficult questions okay tomorrow my class What about you, Philippines?
Thank <laughs> you. 